Lincoln Hall. John walks in to be met with testosterone-fueled children posing. John, meatheads like mom said. John passes the Stripodes TDS reference and made his way to a quiet place next to a girl with a bow. John, is this place taken? Blake, no but please be quiet, it's difficult to find a place to read. John, ah, uh, okay I'm like an avid reader myself. Blake, oh what kind of books do you read? John, ninjas of love for one. Cause I wrote the damn thing and my sister continued the saga. Doesn't help that she modeled the protagonist on me. Blake, oh, what's your opinion on it? John, a good read but ever since the original author stopped working on it, the scenes where passion is involved intensify. Blake, how do you know the original author? John, actually it's his sister who's continuing the book as if today. Blake, can you tell me the author's names because I've been dying to know they make the book as anonymous. John, I can't it's a breach of privacy, I hope you understand. Blake, shame, though I can understand the need for it. All the attention will be tiring. They continue to chat until. Young, hey there I was just wondering if you can help my little sis socialize? John went silent and stared at the person. Young, see something you like lover boy? John, no just taking observation, nothing malicious I assure you. Young just quirked a brow. Young, well this is my sister Ruby. Ruby, E. Then she notices John. Ruby, O. Oh. John, I didn't know you were here. Young, hey Rubes, do you know this guy? Ruby, yeah. He's my first friend. Blake looks to him and he nods. John, just roll with it. Young, while little sis you sure move fast. Excuse me. People are trying to sleep here. Ruby, ack. It's happening again. Why s you? Young, okay let's try this again. I believe you two started on the wrong foot. Ruby, hi my name's Ruby, we can uh... Hang out and do school stuff together. Weiss, yes, sarcasm, we can go shopping for school supplies, paint our nails, and talk about boys. Like blonde and honesty over here. John, okay I have been cordial and behaved but insult me again and you'll regret it. Weiss, why I never? Do you know who I am? John, I don't care this is a Huntsman Academy not a Ms. Universe contest. You insulted me first and I have the right to defend myself. Before she could talk back John nodded to Blake to blow out the candle. And the night went on with a few angry shrieks. Next morning. Ashpin, greeting young Branwen. I just finished reading your mother's recommendation letter and let me say I'm impressed. John, thank you for the praise but please refrain from addressing me by my family name until you announce the team, sir. Ashpin, oh? What for? John, there's someone I want to surprise and want to see a certain reaction. So if you please. 
Fair warning there might be an altercation later. I'll keep it from getting too violent. Ashpin, I understand. Well, Mr. John, I'll leave you to prepare for the initiation. John walks off to the lockers, only to find the most annoying creature blocking his way to his locker. John, excuse me, can you move so I can access my locker? Weiss, excuse you. Do you know who you're talking to? John, like I said before, I don't care who you are. Here we're all students. If you're here to make friends, I suggest you leave this school. It took you eight seconds to quiet down your two irrational. If you get this reference, GG for you. The other girl just waved awkwardly. Weiss, ha m m p ha ha. As the two walk away, John, typical Atlasian, have a silver spoon up the ass. John was prepping, but was interrupted by a familiar voice. Yang, way to put on the charm, friend. You're making friends easily. John, this is a huntsman academy, not a social club. Don't get snippy with me. Young, geez, you need to loosen up. John, well, I don't see Ruby. Where is she? Young, she's at the cliff already. I'm just finishing up. The two made their way to the platforms. John made eye contact with Ms. Goodwitch. And her eyes widened. She heard about one of the arcs missing. No matter what age she can tell John at first sight. Ashpin, ahem ladies and gentlemen. After the speech the students get launched one after the other. John was delayed. John, kindly explain, Professor? Ashpin, I see that my vice headmistress has something to say to you. Linda, where have you been? Your family is worried sick. John, for a failure? I doubt it. Glinda was shocked at the tone of his voice. Ashpin, I guess we stalled long enough. John was launched into the forest. He heard a sudden scream and look in the direction. Rube, I'm sorry, Berti. John made eye contact with the bird. It was a crow and he glared. I will show everyone how strong I've become.